How do we see in 3D when we start with a 2D projection onto our retinas? The most basic answer has to do with the fact that we have two eyes. Differences in position create a binocular disparity our brains can exploit to create stereo vision. And, as artists can tell you, certain cues such as shading, shadow, and perspective are also part of the picture. That's how a flat painting can give the illusion of depth. But as Cambridge's Andrew Welchman explains in a recent article in Annual Reviews, how neurons put all this information together to produce 3D views is not yet clear, and studying this process is difficult. Change one aspect and you've likely changed another. Creative methods, however, can overcome these challenges. Stereograms, for example, are useful tools because researchers can separate how the brain responds to disparity from the experience of depth. When the dots for each eye don't match, there's no sensation of depth, but there is disparity. Measurements have revealed that neurons in the primary visual cortex still respond if the dots don't match, suggesting that stereo vision requires other parts of the brain. Subsequent brain imaging studies have found that the dorsal visual cortex is particularly attuned to disparity and discriminating an object's shape and texture. Curiously, though, patients with damage to the visual cortex sometimes have remarkably good depth perception, and practice on vision tasks can improve their performance. How is this possible? Research suggests that parts of the ventral visual cortex allow for this type of learning and that neurons responsible for stereo vision are distributed throughout networks rather than individual spots in the brain. Other scientists studying where the brain integrates multiple visual cues have found a particular role for an area of the visual cortex that takes a long time to fully develop. Young children who fail to fuse cues the same way adults do have differences in these regions. In the future, more advanced tools, including stronger magnets for use in imaging, in combination with new machine learning approaches, will help neuroscientists more fully understand not only where in the brain 3D vision occurs, but also how the brain handles the task computationally.